Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and Natasha and I'm from Chiputra University, Surabaya, majoring in interior architecture. So today, I'm here representing my group to present about our research paper. Before we start, I would like to introduce my teammates. Here I have a list of names of people in our group. Without further ado, let's move on to introduction. Our paper is about the development of material culture and the effect it has on furniture industries in Indonesia. So material culture itself is a form of uh, culture that is abstract and characteristic that embodies a definition or value towards a thing or object as a result of human effort. So material culture in Indonesia is very abundant and it has a great effect in shaping the community culturally. The introduction led us to our research question which is what affects the development of material culture and what effect does it have on furniture industries in Indonesia? And we also have a supporting research question which is what is the negative impact of the evolving nature of nature of material culture in Indonesia? To answer the research question, we must first look at the implementation of material culture in Indonesia. So in Indonesia, the implementation of material culture is through the buildings of um, worship places. So worship places like uh, Chandi and Dolmen is an example of the implementation of material culture in Indonesia. Those buildings are built from traditional materials. However, there is a time of modernization where buildings tend to shift from having a traditional style to a more modern style. The main point or aspect is actually a change in social structure. People's needs change biologically, socially, and psychologically. And these three factors underlie the massive change of the development of material culture and therefore allowing people to fulfill their needs in life at its best. In the furniture industries, they make use of technologies to prevent over-extraction of natural resources and to find a more sustainable material to meet the ever-growing demand of furniture for the community and population in Indonesia. Some material alternatives have been found and used and they include processed wood waste that is recycled and a combination of plastic, metal, um, resin, and glass. Speaking of the evolving nature of material culture and the ever-growing demand of furniture in Indonesia, chances are that people are going to rely and expect more from the furniture industries. And therefore, if this continues, there will be less recycling and more production. And therefore, the overall process won't be sustainable, even when the furniture industry claims that they are recycling and producing recycled materials. So now that we have done our analysis, we can jump right away to our conclusion, which includes the development of material culture is affected from changes in social structure, ever-growing demand of furniture in Indonesia, and the unsustainable exploitation of natural resources that leads to findings of a more sustainable materials. And that the evolving nature of material culture is a continuous change of needs and wants from customers, which then leads to more production and less recycling in the industry of furniture. I hope my presentation today brought viewers something to learn about and thank you for listening.